So the lanterns, people look at them and they think they're really fragile and they're paper, but in fact they are incredibly strong. The lanterns are like the people of Lismore and they're resilient and they come back beautiful and shining. My name is Julie Jackson and I'm the CEO and creative director of Lighten Up, which produces the Lismore Lantern Parade. This year is our 28th year. The idea of it was to create an event, a festival, that was in sync with the, the seasons and as a way to engage artists and performers and creative people in the area and to celebrate the winter solstice, so the nights getting longer and longer to the nights becoming shorter and shorter and as a symbol of optimism. A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for much of the state with more heavy rain set to hit overnight. It's pretty wet here in Lismore. We've had well over 100 mils of rain today and there's plenty more on the way. We actually started preparing for the flood on Saturday. I had a strong sense in my waters that something was going to happen. So I gathered a bunch of people who, who could come and help us on Saturday morning and we lifted um, as many of the lanterns um, and our electrical goods and things from downstairs and brought them upstairs. Um, because when we bought this place, the flood had never ever come upstairs. The water came in four metres higher than ever we had seen it before. Many of the lanterns and a lot of our materials were, were damaged and lost. When I heard that it was upstairs, I thought we would be in big trouble. It came about 600 mils, maybe a bit more, um, just, just underneath the desks. Um, but there was all the, all the big lanterns, all the feature lanterns were standing on the, on, on the floor. There was a lot of things put on shelves under the benches um, and they all, they all got wet. It was very muddy. Things were, were strewn around. Um, so we just got into it. There was always going to be a lantern parade this year. It, well, there was never any, any doubt that we would do, do a lantern parade. We did it in 2017, we're going to do it this year. For the lanterns that are, that are pretty damaged, we strip off all the paper and then we hose them down strongly and then we disinfect them um, because the mud and the stuff that, that they've been through was pretty revolting and we put um, mould retardant and mould killer on them as well. And then check all the lighting and start repapering and colouring them and make them look beautiful. There's an awful lot of work to do. We're very short-handed because so many of the people who've been our long-term volunteers um, have been badly impacted by, by the floods. The Lantern Parade this year will be very simple. This year, our theme is Our Healing Hearts. So the idea is to, to bring everybody together and to say thank you. To say thank you to all the people who came from far and wide to help to all the amazing people who took to the waters in the height of the, the floods. So with the SES and, and the, the Tinny Brigade and the jet skis and the kayaks and the canoes and, um, and, the, and the rubber duckies um, and, in, and acknowledge the part they played in, in, in saving our, our community. One of the things about traditions, which the Lantern Parade is, is, is now a tradition, I think it provides a sense of continuity. It allows people to feel that this, there is some hope for the future, that this is to keep on going. <laughs> 